Yes, he is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion, Leon Rocky Edwards. Obviously, there weren't many people picking him to beat Kamal Usman at UFC 278. But that fight was scheduled for 25 minutes. He needed all of them. He produced one of the greatest highlights in UFC history. He needed 24 minutes and 30 seconds in order to become the champion. But he never gave up on himself. It seemed as though everything was trending in the wrong direction and he got the job done. Leon Edwards is a phenomenal fighter. He's very well-rounded and he's real big for the weight yeah. class. And you see his physicality come into play in that first round against Kamaru Usman taking him down and controlling him on the ground. Right. But tonight he has a different challenge. He doesn't have the guy that brings all the accolades. He has a young, hungry lion that's looking to knock him off his throne. And we will see how Leon handles this challenge. But of course, increased eyeballs on Leon Edwards, given what he was able to accomplish in becoming the man at 170 pounds. Tattoos, folks. Here he is, the one, the only Nate Diaz making the walk yet again. It's been a long time, but Nate Diaz is back tonight. He has put in all the right work. You know, few guys in this division work harder than Nate Diaz. It's good to see him back. And yeah, you notice it, John, right? The cardio. The cardio is one thing that stands out about Nate Diaz. He looks like he's just touching guys with all of the strikes, but the buildup from all the, the activity that he puts out usually will make his opponents will. And once he gets into the ground, he's a jiu-jitsu black belt that can finish the fight with a number of submissions. Yeah, he'll hit you with the open hand, too. He'll invoke that Stockton slap. You think we see that tonight? Stockton slap is just so disrespectful. What I love watching is so Nate Diaz. You gotta get you at Lafayette slap or something. <laughs> Good to see Nate Diaz back here tonight with the biggest fan bases in the world, and they are all watching the pride of Stockton, California here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee Herb Red Dean fight. will handle the action Red. in the octagon. Good. All right, we are ready to go here at the start of round one for the stand-up only event. So grapplers need not apply. We outline the rules off the top, but here's your refresher. No grappling of any type. We also point out fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the ground. Let's see if the combatants play by the rules here as our first round gets underway. All right, early in the fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start, found a hole for that left hand. I mean, it is powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his target. He's very accurate with that straight left hand, so he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he drops that straight left on you. That hurts so many. Hurt Conor McGregor, and he hurt the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. A really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Investing in the body with the kick there. Great defense. That punch had no chance. Just over three minutes to go. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, another stiff jab here. Oh! 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 oh man. Nice 
Nice crack there. Oh, oh you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, and now a big left hand. Oh, that's big. Lands a good series of kicks here. Edwards gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. That punch, no good. Well, somewhat remarkably, Leon Edwards showing an even better striking game here tonight. He found that flow state early. I mean, early. He was in his zone early. And when you let this guy get going, it is a hard race to try to catch up. He does so good at setting traps, getting to his positions and landing his attacks, and getting out before you can counter. Oh! Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That, that a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Ah, oh, that's Jack Burnham. Edwards gets hit with a kick. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Lands the front kick to the body. Now nice work on the feet by Diaz. He's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. He's hurt bad. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. <laughs> Good fight here, under two to go. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused. Oh, he's wobbling now. Nice left hand. Well, you got to think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Edwards' nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Diaz. Heavy body kick land. Edwards' his head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Diaz has been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Two rounds in the books.
All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, that's the end of the round, and Diaz's corner visibly concerned about that nose, and rightfully so, perhaps it was broken in that last round, and you gotta think it's gonna be hard for him to breathe the rest of the way. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards should be needed for this. No, the scorecards will not be needed. As we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to Doing work with the jab there. DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, nice. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to reveal everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Well, as we call on the unofficial numbers, 88 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Oh. Diaz is really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Diaz gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown from here. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. He's in trouble. Attempt to is limping now, Daniel. You see the right leg damage, a lot of it courtesy of that last kick. So we'll see if he can figure out a way to get his footwork back and make the requisite adjustments. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. Start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. Back to the feet. Uppercut. Edwards' hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job. Oh, he's hurt, he's hurt. with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Take one there. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages. <laughs> Off 
defensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Diaz is definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that area that is already compromised on his opponent. Oh, All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 38 seconds of round number four. Declare the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky Edwards. What a moment for Leon Edwards, another massive knockout. I'm not sure any KO is ever going to be on the level of what he did to Kamar Usman, but this one was pretty sensational. Tonight. Yeah, it was a tremendous knockout. I mean, sure. He didn't knock him out in the last 30 seconds like he did Kamaru Usman. But every time you can put somebody out, it feels like nothing you've ever felt before.